We can organize our contacts into lists in order to view and work with them more easily. Rather than scrolling or searching through a single list that might contain hundreds of contacts, we can move them into our custom lists. In the list column here, we can see that I already have one list called coworkers. Tap the add list button to create a brand new list. I'll call this one friends, and I'll add one more called local businesses. Now I just need to start adding contacts into each list. Let's start on the iPad. With the list column displayed, I can just tap and hold for a moment and then drag to drag and drop a contact over to a list. To grab multiple contacts, tap and drag one, hold it there, and with a free finger, tap on the contacts that you want to bring with it. We can drag and drop on an iPhone too. Tap, hold, and drag to pick up one or more contacts. Then tap on the back button with a free finger and drop onto the list that you want to add the contact or contacts into. This can make adding several contacts into a list a really quick process. We can also add a contact to a list from their contact card. Scroll to the bottom and tap Add to List. Then select the list you want to add them to. Jeff has now been added to both the coworkers and the friends lists. Adding contacts to lists doesn't remove them from the All iCloud list. This is always going to contain every one of my contacts for this account. We can add contacts to multiple lists. If I add a list called Project, I can bring in a few of the contacts that are also in my coworkers list. And I'll add another from my All iCloud list. Tap and hold on a contact and I can remove it from only this list. Notice we also have the option to delete the contact, which will remove the contact from the All iCloud list as well. Tap and hold on a list in the list column and we can delete it. Doing that will only delete the list, not the contacts within it. They will remain in the All iCloud list. We can also tap and hold on to a list to quickly email or message all the contacts in the list. Doing this will compose a new email with an address to everyone in the coworkers list, as long as an email address is saved for each of them. Same with the new message option, as long as a phone number is saved for each contact in the list. If you have watched the Contacts for Mac tutorial, you might be wondering about smart lists, which contain contacts based on conditions that you set. Unfortunately, we can't create smart lists in iOS as of now. It's only possible to add contacts to standard lists in iOS.